Hold on to your badges, because it's turnabout time! Here's what we know so far. This is Terry Falls, a man not only on the lamp, but on death row, too. Shut up! We later discovered this simple revenge story was actually an elaborate setup by a girl named... Melissa Foster. Which is actually a fake identity, fostered by the victim's sister, Dahlia Hawthorne. She jumped in river. What was so important that she'd want to jump into the river? The two million dollar diamond. You have the evidence to back it up, don't you? The only problem now is that we don't have proof, and Terry Falls is our last lifeline. What will Mr. Falls' testimony provide? And how will I turn this twisted romance around once and for all? The final showdown begins! Now! Well, Mr. Edgeworth, what is your take on this? Hmm. Weird got your tongue? <laughs> I'm funny and senile. <laughs> Why not? The prosecution has no objection. Very well. Bailiff! Bring the defendant to the witness stand. This is my last chance, Mr. Falls. My last chance to establish Dolly's guilt. You're all I have left. Defendant, you've heard everything that's been said up to this point, yes? Uh, um... I don't believe it. No way. Tony died five years ago. Valerie betrayed me. Mr. Falls. I don't know what she said to you five years ago, but one thing is clear. Dahlia is very much alive. And you were used for two million dollars. That's not true. I... <laughs> Mr. Falls, there's only one question I want the answer to. Two days ago on Dusky Bridge, who did you meet? Was it Valerie Hawthorne or was it Dahlia Hawthorne? Dahlia, Dahlia, did you betray me? Five years ago, she promised. She promised. Never ever betray each other. Dahlia, it... it's true. You are alive. You don't trust me anymore? That makes me sad. Tell the truth! The real truth! I... believed in you! I shouldn't need to say it. You should already know. <coughs> but... There is one thing that I will say. My life is in your hands right now, Terry. Duh. Leah. I will allow Mr. Falls to testify once and once only. Well then, Mr. Falls, yours will be the final testimony in this trial. Witness! Yeah! Woo! Sorry, I'm sorry, I apologize. Uh, 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 what? Please, what? Huh? Can't talk. Nate, what? Huh. Oh well, I guess it'll have to be my coffee instead. At least it'll match the way he's feeling right now. Darker and more bitter than hell itself. Ah, black like your soul. <laughs> that day, 4 p.m., I stopped the car. I was in front of bridge. She wasn't there, so I waited on the bridge. I watched my car for bridge. I never put no body in that car! Finally, what would be Kane? She stood in front of me. He thought that she lived. That was... That was Valerie. Not my Dahlia! <sighs> Mr.
Mr. Falls, you're covering for her. Do you think she would do the same for you? Objection! That's enough, Miss Fay. His last statement was a fitting way to end the final testimony of the trial. Uh. Well then, Miss Fay, please proceed with your cross-examination. Is this how you want it to end, Mr. Falls? Another guilty verdict to go along with your death sentence? There's only one person who can stop it. You, kitten. I think. That's a real vote of confidence. Yeesh. Okay, so... My poor client showed up and got himself into trouble. We've established that. Hold it! What did you talk to her about anyway? Mr. Falls? Oh, he told the truth! A badly kid that me five years ago! So he said, someone needed to take blame for it. There was no I could think to do. She said that. That's why she lied. You got me the death penalty. And were you satisfied with that answer, witness? Dahlia died. It was my fault. But I don't really remember. Maybe I did. Maybe I did push her in. Uh. It don't matter no more. Either way, my Dahlia, my sweet teenager, dead. But you just saw that she isn't dead! After Valerie talked to me, oh bitch, nothing left to live for. Oh man. Well, he said it was Valerie, but is he totally sure about that? How can he see with tears in his eyes all the damn time, chewing on that big iron ball? How does he hold it up there anyway? Hold it! How can you be so sure? It was raining at the time, and sunset that day was at 5 o'clock. It would have already been pretty dark on that mountain at 4.30. Ugh, please, Mr. Falls, this is your last chance. You've already taken the fall once for something you didn't do. That woman. It wasn't Dahlia. Stop right there! What more needs to be said? Hmm. Even if it means the death penalty, even if it means taking the blame for murder, you'll still do whatever is necessary to protect her, won't you, Mr. Falls? I know it's obvious, but he's clearly lying. He's been cursed by Dahlia Hawthorne. He'll probably go to his grave still believing in her. Mr. Falls. Even if you can show he's lying, the poor guy will still be cursed. You'll still have to point out the contradiction anyways. Sort of the game mechanic. That's the curse of being a defense lawyer, I guess. Curses. Well, he's so sure it was Valerie and not Dahlia. Is there even any evidence that'll help me? Objection! Oops, um, I'm thinking no. Objection! If this were a movie, it'd be Star Wars. A new objection! Or a play, A Midsummer Night's... Objection! Books, The Shawshank. Objection! Harry Potter and the Deathly. Objection! The Hitchhiker's Guide to the Objection! Star Trek II, The Wrath of Objection! <clears throat> Maybe I should just press him a little bit more. Hold it! You were watching the car? The bridge. Other side is broken. Nobody can come from there. So, I was watching car. 
What else were you expecting him to do? I suppose that's the obvious thing to do, but something's bothering me. I'm getting that feeling. A contradiction? I wonder what's on the other side of the broken bridge, anyway. No one lives there. There's a small shrine up on the mountain, but that's it. Anyway, nobody came. No car. Nothing. Nobody came. No car. No nothing. Oh boy. Here's that damn map again. Objection! Ah, oh, this is rough. Just a poor defense attorney. Um, crime photo? Again? Objection! Ugh, nobody loves me. Objection! Galileo! Objection! Galileo! Objection! Galileo Figaro Magnifico! Objection! So when you got to the bridge, no one had arrived, huh? So you waited on the bridge. You're sure of that? Yeah, I'm sure. You're sure, huh? Well, then I'm sure too, Mr. Falls. I'm sure that you're lying. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I would love to hear your rationale on this, Miss Fay. You want to know who arrived at the bridge first? Just look at this photo. It's perfectly clear. Obviously, the person that came first would be the one at the end of the bridge, right? <laughs> But that's the victim at the end of the bridge. <laughs> you are so smart. Precisely my point. In other words, Mr. Falls, you must have arrived at the bridge after she did. <coughs> uh, um, Mr. Falls. Please, don't get so worked up. We just want the truth. I got there around four o'clock. It's true. Oh. I... I had somewhere to go. A special place. Did you go to the special place before you went to the bridge? Yeah. It's an old temple. About 50 minutes from the bridge. Five years ago, me and Dahlia, we promised each other. We swore we wouldn't betray each other. She brought a memento to represent our love. A memento? Five years ago, I hid it on the base of a tree there. It's a special memory for me. This is it. This is what I want to get. This little bottle on a necklace is your memento? It's quite dark. But it looks empty. Your Honor! You heard what my client said. He arrived at the scene at 4 o'clock. But then he left his car unattended and walked away. He was gone for approximately 30 minutes! <clears throat> Damn pussycat! With that much time? Dahlia Hawthorne could have easily hidden the body in the trunk of the car! No! Indeed. There certainly was enough time for it. I've still got a chance. Mr. Falls, there's no mistaking it. <clears throat> oh? Mr. Falls? <laughs> That's enough. Please. W witness? I promised her five years ago. If it 
never happens. Or that we can't trust each other no more than we're supposed to drink bottle. No! Stop the trial! Your Honor, we need a recess! I... I was stupid. Couldn't keep promise. So I did it. I drank this. No! We are so close! Just a little more! I was gonna prove your innocence! No. It's all what that... Don't trust self. Maybe kill again. Kill sweet Talia again. Mr. Falls! Mr. Uh, Armando thanks for the coffee. And so my first trial ended, suddenly and tragically. It ended with no winners, only losers. I ended up with a wound that cut so deep into my soul, I thought it'd never heal. I'm sure it was the same for the young prosecutor as well. But one person. The true criminal, Dahlia Hawthorne. She left the courtroom with a secret smile on her demonically sweet face. Unforgivable. Uh, the witch. Mr. Armando. We're so close to the truth. It was right there in front of us. You are just a little too soft, kitten. It's my fault. It's all my fault that Mr. Falls killed himself. Don't cry, kitten. You're going to make my coffee all salty. I knew it. I knew I wasn't cut out for this. Mia. Huh? Don't you get it? You can't cry yet. Oh. The only time when a lawyer can cry is when it's all over. Mr. Armando. That's kind of hot. No matter how tough the case, no matter how bitter the memories, they always fade over time. Then you file them away and eventually forget them. One year later, in this very same courthouse, I myself got wrapped up in that case. Only then did Dahlia Hawthorne get put on trial for her crimes. The verdict that was ultimately handed down to her was... Guilty, of course. Naturally, when the verdict was read, she had a perfect angelic smile on her face. was finally all over. At least, that's what I thought at the time. Unfortunately, I couldn't have been more wrong. It's 
been five years, but now something has happened that's made me remember all this. Thank you all for watching Case 4, Phoenix Wright, Trials and Tribulations. It was once again another wonderful case. They keep getting better. Uh, the story in that was amazing. And, um, well, will you look at that? We're on the final chapter. Uh, we're not going to do a best voice actor for this case because it was too short. And most of the people in this case will be up for best VA, uh, best main character VA anyways in the end. But, um, yeah, everybody did a wonderful job. So, next episode... Bridge to the Turnabout, the final chapter of Trials and Tribulations. Home of the Let's Dub Project. What in the world? Should I subscribe to this? Nah, it's probably bullshit. Let's start project. <laughs>